Hey everyone, welcome back. This is Joe at Quad Specs, and today we're going to be looking at our second charger in our series of tests and reviews of 1S battery chargers that are available today. We'll be looking at the Beta FPV model, uh, but make sure you check out our playlist of all the other ones that we've tested to date, and also go to quadspecs.com where we have a full list and comparison of the 1S chargers available uh, with all of the specifications and features that they have. Uh, so we'll go ahead and get started today with the Beta FPV charger. All right, so this one's pretty simple. There's not a lot to it. It's basically just two, uh, you've got a printed circuit board and then you've got another board in here. Uh, it's just kind of like a dummy board for support, but it is a very sturdy charger. Uh, we didn't have any troubles disconnecting or reconnecting a battery. Um, it has a nice little three digit display here. Um, but as you probably noticed, there aren't many features besides that. It can take a 3S or 4S battery input, um, and it utilizes the XT60 connector for that input. Um, the output, as far as adjustability, you can change the output voltage between 4.2 volts and the 4.35 high voltage setting, uh, just using these little switches on each one. Uh, it is independent control for each one of the channels, so that's nice. Uh, but you cannot change the current setting. It is strictly a 400 milliamp output. Um, so that'll just have to do if this is the model you decide to get. Uh, one other feature is it does have an on off. So you can plug in all the batteries, get them ready, and then uh, they won't be charging until you actually hit the on button. Uh, it's just easy to turn them off. So we'll go ahead and get started with the testing. Okay, we pretty well have everything set up. Uh, we have a 4S battery that's plugged into the charger, and you'll notice here that the display only shows the input voltage. It doesn't scroll through and show you all of the different voltage readings for each channel, so it's a little more limited to, than some of the other chargers in that respect. Uh, but we have the same uh, GNB 260 milliamp hour battery that we're using for this one. Uh, we'll go ahead and plug it in, and then we're actually on the 4.35 high voltage setting. We'll go ahead and turn it on. And at the high voltage setting, we get 0.31 amps on channel four. Um, we'll change this over to 4.2 volts. It's pretty well the same. Um, nothing's changing there. So that's quite a bit underneath the stated 400 milliamp. So we're looking at 300 milliamp or 310 milliamp. Um, why don't we change the ports here and see if we can get a different reading. Same thing there. Try one more. Okay, so the output is quite a bit below what they advertise. Uh, that's not entirely a bad thing because a lot of the people that are gonna be using these chargers will be charging something like the 260 milliamp hour, 250, somewhere around there. So that's a little over a 1C charge rate. Um, and we'll go ahead and switch this back to 4.2 two volts and that doesn't affect the current output so there you have it a uh, little bit less than what's advertised okay so the final test is to see what the voltage is on all these batteries once they're done charging to see if it actually reaches the intended voltage so the top two again like we did on the last one are 4.35 volts these two are 4.2 and these are 4.35 since they all have independent control we're going to test out um, what the final voltage is. So we'll let those charge and we'll come back. All right, they're all finished charging. We're gonna go ahead and take them off and see what the voltages were with our little beta FPV voltage tester. This one charged to 4.3 volts. The second one to 4.3. Now these ones should have been charged to 4.2 volts. They got to 4.19 and 4.18 and finally these again should have been charged to 4.35 and it looks like none of them actually got up all the way to the voltage that they're supposed to get but they're all pretty close um, kind of disappointed that these didn't get to anything above 4.3 so overall the beta fpv kind of underperformed considering that it did not reach the 400 milliamps and it also did not reach the 4.35 volts for all of the batteries that we charged. That does it for the test and review of the Beta FPV charger. Make sure you check that playlist for any of the other ones we've tested. 
and subscribe to see any future videos. Thanks and we'll see you next time.